we'll call it when we can win it. I think it'll take a while for the Conservative Party to settle down, for size to be determined, particularly those ex-ministers going onto the back benches. So we'll see in September. You might be leaving it too late, right? Because if you call it, let's say, the 3rd of September, the whole process, including the time you need to run an election, will be the 24th of October. That's a week away it's from tight. our... All of this is tight, but the call has to be made when we can win it. No use calling it no confidence if we can't win it. And I don't think we'll be able to win it until a number of Tory MPs have seen exactly what Boris is up to on the no deal. Isn't it incredible, though, that we're in this position at all? I mean, the government barely has a majority. The Conservatives are barely functioning for three years. They haven't sorted out any domestic policy. I don't need to tell you that. They haven't sorted out the one thing that they promised to do when in power. You were handed this dream scenario, almost impossible to screw it up, and yet you're neck and neck. What's no, we've, gone we've, wrong? We've, we've defeated them time and time again in the House. We've defeated them on proposal after proposal. Whenever we thought it was in the interest of the na nation to do so, we've defeated the Tories. We've forced a Prime Minister out of office. They've now brought forward another Prime Minister. That wasn't you. That was her own it was party. Par it was Parliament, which the basis of that was the Labour Party and Tory rebels. She was forced out of office because we continuously defeated her. And we defeated her on a scale not seen before in Parliament. Oh, come on. That's delusions of grandeur. If you think it was your power that got her out, you've where got did the those same votes problems. Come from? Where did those votes come from? Isn't the truth that you've got... Where, were those votes, where did those votes come from? She they came from thought, Labour MPs. She never thought that she would have Labour's votes. She huh? thought she'd have her own We've, side's votes. It was Labour MPs mobilising votes across the House of Commons, and we defeated her. Isn't the truth, though, that you've actually got exactly the same problem as the Tories, that the membership want a leader that the electorate probably don't. It's the same for Jeremy Corbyn as it is for Boris Johnson, as it was for Theresa May. We're ahead in the polls. We're ahead in the polls at the moment. Hardly. And it's we a have... four-way split, as we are well ahead, known. We're ahead in the polls in the most difficult circumstances with this ex Brexit issue carrying over us. We're ahead in the polls. This government has been here for nearly a decade. You haven't won a nationwide election since 2005. Okay. Okay. 2017, the polls were, well, we were 24 points behind the prediction that we would be wiped out. We've almost won. Given another you week, lost. we can come. You haven't we, won a we nationwide performed, election since we've 2005. We've performed better than anyone, any commentator or anyone else predicted. We were nearly there. What we're saying now is that if the Tories are so confident, Bring on that election now and we'll show you what we can do. You know that double the number of members no longer support Jeremy Corbyn, as did this time last year. He's won two elections for leadership with resounding numbers. For leadership? Yes, that's right. And, and where does it get you? Look where you came in the European us, elections. Look what happened in the locals. It got us within an inch of power in 2017 when everyone else wrote us off. Tony Blair couldn't say to me last night that he would vote Labour at the next election. Does he represent those you need to win back? What would you say to him? I'd say vote Labour, because what you need to do is get rid of this Tory government. And he has said it's not about the Brexit policy in this case, it's because anti-Semitism is a real problem for him, fundamentally repugnant to everything the Labour Party should stand for. You wouldn't disagree with no, him there? No, of course there. I wouldn't, and we're dealing with it. We're dealing with it. You know, though, that you say bring it on in terms of a general election, your house isn't in order, that the weakness of the Labour Party is what has enabled the right wing now. That lack of clarity, that weakness is yeah. what has landed us here now. We've abided by the democratic decisions of our members at the last Labour Party conference, which was to block a no-deal Brexit, which we did in Parliament once, and as often as we possibly could seek to get a deal that would work and protect jobs in the economy. We were in six weeks of negotiations with the Tories. It failed because the Tories couldn't deliver. Can you still work with the Tories now? No, I don't think we can. We've, they cannot deliver. And now under Boris Johnson, all they're interested in is really forcing through a no-deal Brexit or a Brexit will not secure the jobs and the economy. Jo Swinson has made it clear that she'd be happy to work with the Labour Party, but not with Jeremy Corbyn himself. Does that give you Pause for thought now about the style of government isn't it in your office. Isn't it interesting? Joe Swinson was willing to work with the Tories, introduce some of the most savage austerity cuts that cost people their lives. But and as you won't, but you're she won't, on the same side but she now. won't, but she won't work with a Labour leader who opposed all those austerity measures. 
I think Joe Simpson needs to look inside her own conscience about her own behaviour under the austerity programme she supported in government. So how are you going to get your people's vote then? You can't what work we'll with the do. Tories and you can't work no, with the No, what we'll do is we'll put proposals forward in Parliament. We're not entering into any coalitions or anything like that. But we will work with others to secure that vote. And we expect Joe Swinson, when we put forward our proposals on no confidence or for a people's referendum, to support them.